this is the Lexus LS Plus. And if it looks familiar, don't be surprised. It's basically a Lexus LS, which was revealed in Detroit earlier this year. As you can see, the face is very different. A brand new design through here, a sort of satin silver finish to the grill there. And although we can't see it right now, this section of the grill is actually an active design that's for aerodynamics and an intake, but they don't have that turned on at the moment, so we can't see it right now. This car serves two purposes, both as an idea of what Lexus is planning to do with its styling in the future, and I guess you could imagine that it might represent a, a facelift for the Lexus LS, which we could see in about four or five years. And if you follow around the side here, you can see there's a lot of aerodynamic work going on here, so it sort of sticks with Lexus's hybrid project everything is about keeping the car nice and smooth and aerodynamic camera based mirrors here and a nice little character line here through the front fender which we don't see on the production model but uh, we could see it on a facelift for the LS there's also a, a brand new look here as well really sort of futuristic look to the LED lights through here bit of a disco feel very different to what we see on the production LS which in itself is still quite a very modern and futuristic car so in many ways, it's surprising to see Lexus turn out what looks like a facelift so soon. The other purpose for this car is to demonstrate the autonomous technology that Lexus is working on. Now, they haven't shown us what this car can do specifically, and in fact, the press release is quite light on. But we have been promised that we'll see what we call Highway Mate in 2020, which is level four driving, which means you'll be able to take your hand off the steering wheel for very specific areas of a highway. Then Lexus will introduce Urban Team Mate, which will allow you to drive on regular roads, as the name suggests. Later in the week, Lexus will be giving us a preview of some of the autonomous technology. This car, as we see it right now, we won't see on the road for quite some time, but it's now our first look at what we can expect, both for the LS in the future and the rest of what Lexus has coming. So there you are. You can see more of this concept at caradvice.com and keep an eye out for our autonomous testing later in the week.